You may be able to tell the difference between an iPhone and a Galaxy phone, but what about the software they run on? And does it really matter? Stay tuned for the difference between iOS and Android. Just as most PCs run on Windows, your phone comes with its own operating system too. If you own an iPhone or iPad, it will run on Apple's iOS software. If you own a phone or tablet made by Samsung, HTC or Sony, it's likely to run on Google's Android. There used to be a huge difference between the two platforms, with iOS offering more key apps and a greater polish in general. Nowadays, there are over 850,000 apps available from Apple's App Store, but there have been more downloads in total from Android's Google Play Store. More importantly, they're both easy to use and take a similar approach to keeping track of your emails and browsing the web. Veteran iPhone enthusiasts could happily make the switch over to Android without suffering from too much trouble. Differences between the two platforms still remain. Apps like BBC's iPlayer and Spotify often deliver their latest features first for iPhone users. Android, on the other hand, is more customizable. If you don't like the keyboard layout, for example, just swap it with another one. So, if you have to choose between an iOS or Android device, which should you buy? Well, you'll pay more money for an iPhone, but you'll end up with a great looking device that's simple to use. Android, on the other hand, has the range, with both high-end phones as well as budget pocket pleasers. Ultimately though, it's a bit like the Mac versus PC debate. Once you get over the price hurdle, you've just got to try both and see which one you prefer. Click the links below for more information on iOS 7, the iPhone 5 versus Samsung Galaxy S4 and the Nexus 7.